Hello everybody, recently I was contacted by one of my customers, he asked me how can he combine multiple STL files together. So at the first you need to download Blender, mm, there is a website, it's blender.org, uh, download latest version of Blender, install the software, it's free, uh, after that uh, go to the edit preferences uh, key map and i recommend to use industry compatible key map also i recommend to change uh, navigation uh, in the navigation panel zoom axis to horizontal it will be easier for you to fly around after we did all that we can go to file import stl and i will go to my swarm folder and i will import for example slasher source slasher one i will select first file and hit the shift button and select the last one i will hit import stl i don't change any of the settings I leave it as it is import to combine two elements together you can just uh, select one shift select next one and go to the object join uh, you can now you now you can see that if i hit w i can move the object and they, these objects will be combined one of my customers asked me to uh, change the size of the pins because uh, he had to cut some material to make them meet with uh, other part. It's my mistake because I didn't make proper clearance for this and basically my pins are the same size as the hole for the pin so after you print it your like um, different meshes can cannot meet each other because they are too, the pin is too big basically you need to scale it down i'm going to this menu oh going to this menu object mode i go to edit mode i hit number three uh, basically it is a uh, face selection mode we have a vertices edges and faces I, I select one of the faces i go to select and i want to select link it i think i forgot the uh, hotkey it, it was changed go to link it. i select all the mesh after that i go to uh, mesh separate selection and my selection goes into the another mesh so i can edit it uh, without my supports so i i'm hiding my supports with this little icon uh, i'm going now to the edit mode again going to hit one no, it doesn't work. I need to go to object, object mode. I want to select this mesh again. I go into edit mode. Now I can select this pin. To select through, I need to go to the wireframe mode and select, for example, top part uh, of my mesh. But uh, to make selection process easier, I recommend you to use select less so method here you need just to click here click and drag to this option after that you can use lasso to select certain objects and lasso is much more useful for this when i selected the cap uh, i can hit up arrow and increase my selection size after i have selected the pin uh, i want to scale it a little bit to make it smaller so I'm hitting R, uh, it's a scale operator in the blender and I am click and drag on the little uh, white circle in the center of the manip manipulator and I hit the shift after that. 
So when I hit the shift, uh, manipulator slows down and I can uh, fine tune the percentage I needed. So my pin be became a little bit smaller and right now I want to move it a little bit inside the object. So I, I hit W and I used the manipulator to move my object a little bit inside. So my pin become smaller. After that, we need to go to the outliner and show our supports. We see that because our pin became much smaller, we need to adjust our supports. So I'm going to the edit mode as well. I want to select uh, all the top vertices of this mesh. We can use uh, our selection tool to select top vertices and move them a little bit so they meet our pin properly. And right now I need to make same adjustment here. Okay, I've selected only this one. So I can move it up a little bit. But I think I did a bad job here because uh, this island will not print properly, so I need to select them again. Move them a little bit here. Okay, after that I'm going to the object mode and selecting my supports. Shift select my arm go to the object join and file export STL. In this export dialog I recommend you to use selection only flag because if you will not do that it will export everything it has in the scene and we need only our selection selected element. Uh, you need to give it proper name and hit export STL. After that you can use this mesh uh, in your preferred slicing software to send it to the printer.